Hello everybody and welcome back to this channel, Leilani of Barbados. I have taken over it for the evening. I am Baroness Scotland, that is Patricia Janet Scotland, the Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations, aka King Charles's dancing partner, literally and figuratively all night long. King Charles has just been crowned and his price has gone up. Congrats, your price went up. <laughs> and with that, someone is trying to steal him from Camilla. That someone being me, yes. But on a lighter note, I am here to just do a recap of the coronation since I was there. <laughs> And since these are my future relatives, as I will be marrying the king shortly, this is very important to King Charles at the moment as he is really focusing on the Commonwealth and what it means, especially after Meghan Markle slandered the Commonwealth by calling it Empire 2.0. But anyway, we're not going to get into that. King Charles was surrounded, flanked, and enjoyed all of his friends from the Commonwealth on his coronation day and after in the party. And I'm just going to do a recap because I was there. Okay, so let us start, of course, with Harry and him walking into Westminster Abbey. A lot of people saw his whole walk in and him chatting the whole time, you know, in his seat. A lot of people saw that as arrogance. I see it as him overcompensating for his embarrassment. I think that must have been very embarrassing to walk in amongst his peers and his family who he had slandered so terribly in spare. He must have had beta blockers on board, something to like lower his blood pressure. That's what beta blockers do. Like something to make him just walk in there like that. You know, they, they've said these, all these memes have come out. We're going to go over, but by the way, we're going to go over a lot of the reactions, the memes, the jokes, uh, and all in good fun. And also uh, the sugars who are not in good fun and how they reacted to this coronation because you know they were salty over this they were jealous when king charles said that he was going to invite harry and we were very concerned whether it was going to be harry and megan or whether it was just going to be harry and everyone wanted to know and it was a big color blue and then when he decided he was going to invite harry a lot of people got very upset. They said he was a weak king and he's not standing up to this. I mean, this is literally harry who accused queen camilla of trying to kill him and Megan. Everyone was like, why is he doing this? Why is he, and I think this is a case of like, when your parents tell you, I told you so. <laughs> and you're like, why do you have to say I told you so? When he walked in there, so embarrassed, you can sense it. This is when we realize that King Charles was right to invite him because this was Harry's punishment. This is where he had to face all the people he spoke about in real life and look at them in their eyes father knows best and then he flies out immediately after the coronation because he's so embarrassed he couldn't take it a moment longer and he's so messy and disorganized he has a hanger and the coronation program from his father's coronation in his hand and it's like really i went to my son's program his spring program and i left with the program i put it away in my bag because i'm gonna save it for all of eternity like i don't know why you wouldn't put that away it just it just is i'm being i'm being petty petty pause i'm being petty but like that is really telling you that he doesn't give a damn and he's trying to tell people that he doesn't because he's media trained he knows how this game works and he knows he was going to be photographed as he left uh for la and speaking of leaving for la <laughs> Your perpetual one-trick pony, Meghan Markle, only knows how to go hiking every time he goes to see his family. So you remember in Vancouver when she went on that hike and she paid the paps, allegedly, to photograph her and then pretended she was trying to sue them for it. But I don't know, that never really turned out. That was when Harry went to visit his family in the UK. So now he goes to visit his family in the UK for the coronation that she was not invited to. And she finds herself hiking, which is so unexpected actually and psychotic because everyone thought she would have been celebrating Archie's birthday and she would have been like in the middle of some balloons and some cake, you know? But this time the press was a bit onto her and they even mentioned here, like the only thing that was interesting about this hike is that how did the press find her inside of this mountain, hiking. How did they find her there this time? Well, it was Backgrid. And so you know Backgrid, that that's her employee, right? Allegedly, for legal purposes. Like they photographed her at the brunch. That was the day the line of succession was published on the royal website. So she had to show herself. But let us talk about her outfit. I just want to say that, um, 
<laughs> How unstable is not Megan, but this outfit, right? Because how can you wear a Panama hat while hiking? I mean, it doesn't it fall off? By the way, made by my people down in the Caribbean, my culture is not your costume. I'd prefer if you didn't wear it since you don't like the Empire 2.0 or whatever, please cease and desist from wearing Panama hats or anything relative to the Caribbean or the Caribbean basin. Thank you very much. Anyhow, she's wearing this hat and a silk scarf around her neck. But I'm not sure if it's cold. Well, it can't be cold because she's wearing sleeveless. I'm not sure if she's hot. You can see that somebody has lost their minds. And I'm not saying it's her, but it could be her stylist. They are looking like two crazy people. Except for the fact that Harry was dressed in Dior. I did point out in a video that I suspected he was wearing Dior. And now Dior has come out and said they <laughs> that they dressed him for the coronation, which is very gross. Yes, they dressed him and they're proud. Okay, and we're going back to the coronation now. Everyone was in an upstance, as we say, over Major Johnny Thompson again. I remember this from the funeral of Queen Elizabeth. Okay, so he was the bodyguard for the Queen, and now, of course, he's bodyguard for King Charles. And he's so well-liked by the ladies <laughs> across the world that I actually started Googling him. And immediately what comes out when you put in Major Johnny Thompson is married, question mark. Well, he is married. Sorry, ladies. He's married this lovely lady here she does marketing her name's caroline and she's an equestrian as well but you know how megan always talked about security <laughs> i just wonder to myself if the way that johnny is so well liked major johnny thompson i just wonder if megan was like you know how she is though like she's like she feels like she's picking off a shelf whether she deserves it or not she's like yes i want that yes yeah, security i have that yes a title i deserve that even though i'm not actually working and i've disparaged the royal family who gave me the title yeah i need that thank you i'll have that in my bag i also need johnny thompson security because why does why does she have it and i don't get come here come here you have to work with me yeah and that's how she is. So I'm just wondering if Johnny Thompson was not another motivation for the hyper focus on security, which I never understood. Okay, so my future grandson, who is Prince Louis, you know, because I will be marrying King Charles. <laughs> you know, dancing the night away. That's what we did. That's what we do. We're meant to be together. Anyway, um, Prince Louis, people from, of, by, by saying people, I mean Megan Sugars were very mean about him and saying that he was yawning and that he has behavioral problems. I don't want to talk about that because, but I just want you to know how nasty they are being because they are so hurt that Megan was not there. And it's coming out in various different ways, which we'll all, we'll get to these ways. We need to talk about these things. We need to be aware of these things. Prince Louis was yawning and then it looks like they took him off for a kip and the family then filled in the space. Then he was brought back. And by the time he was on the balcony anyway, he had definitely caught second wind because he enjoyed himself thoroughly. And he is the loveliest little boy. He has such a good personality. There's three of them and they all have different personalities. But I must say I'm biased. Prince Louis is my fave. We need to go into the outfits part. First, let's start with Catherine and William. The Waleses, they were so beautifully dressed. They were immaculate. I, I almost cried when I saw them. I think I started crying on stream actually and I had to stop myself because I realized I was live. But they were so beautiful. They looked amazing. The children were so beautiful. I love that Charlotte had the same headband as, or like a mini version of her mother's headband. I know that you're not allowed to wear tiaras or crowns because it's daytime and those are only for nighttime or so. That's what people are educating us saying. Um, but I'm glad that they did the headband thing because they look so gorgeous. And by the way, did you know something? Princess Charlotte is the wealthiest child in the world. She's worth $5 billion. I don't think we've talked about this. $5 billion. Okay. Am I getting old? When did people stop being millionaires and they started being billionaires? It's billion now. Isn't that crazy? But what's even crazier is why she is so wealthy. Well, according to these articles, and I did a deep dive on this. So two days before the queen passed away, she changed her will and she changed it to exclude Meghan Markle and Lilibet. 
which means that that tier of her inheritance got slimmed down. So these are all her accoutrements, her diamonds, her jewelry, and all of her other assets come only to her granddaughter, Charlotte, because that's the only female granddaughter. That is how Charlotte becomes so wealthy. But let's get back to that two days before she passes away. I don't know if you remember <laughs> that Meghan Markle was in England with Harry, pulling him back from going to visit his grandmother. And people told her and him, look, the wives aren't coming. Catherine's not coming. She only wants to see you, her grandsons. You know, it's not their wives and the everything else. She just is on her deathbed, literally asking to see you. And Megan was like, no, I have to go too. Like, you can't go without me. At that point, I think Queen Elizabeth probably did something like this. Hello there. Excuse me. Could you just pass me my will? Thank you. And a pen. And she just crossed off the names. <laughs> And she signed it and initialed it and all the other things you have to do for legal reasons. And she said, thank you. Take it back. Give it to Charles. Thank you. Okay. And she went back to sleep. That's what I think happened. The incredible thing about that is, is that how Megan is so out of her mind that she could not think as a human being, as a humanitarian at that, that this man just needs to go and see his grandmother who wants to see him. His granny wants to see him. Let him go. There are a plethora of things that she could have done in the meantime while he went to see his grandmother. I would have called my nail tech. He's Vietnamese. He's very good. His name is Paul. And I would have been like, hi, Paul. Hi, I have a bit of time right now because Harry's gone on a holiday thing. I don't know. He's gone somewhere on a plane. Um, do you think you could do my nails? When? Now? Okay, I'm good. I'll be right over. Yes, thank you so much, Paul. And I would have gone and done my nails. I mean, there's so many things you could have done and just let the man go instead of putting your claw upon his shoulders and stopping him from going. On the other level, because I just, I, I've never been able to understand this. On the other level, you could have said, well, <laughs> I might not get the will thing sorted for myself and my child and my children. You know, if I piss her off, like in her dying days. I mean, if you're just a dog, like if you're just like a horrible person, that at least you would think that part through. So she did that to herself. That's all I can tell you. I might go off on tangents because there's a lot here, you know. Another set of viral commentary going on is that Camilla looked less than impressed. She looked aloof. She did not look happy. This is a very controlled environment. So I disagree with that sentiment. I think she was very happy. I saw it. I saw through it. I didn't see her looking cold or whatever people are saying. And I loved her gown. It was very much Romeo and Juliet era. That's all I could think of. And then, of course, if you don't know, English people and their dogs. Do not get between English people and their dogs. And she had her two dogs. They're rescue dogs, actually, which is really lovely. And their names are Bluebell and Beth. Tell me in the comments if you think they're also embroidered on the shoes because I could tell and I couldn't find anything that actually described what were on her sh her loafers she was wearing but I think it was very beautiful and god bless her I want to get to the meme separately but I gotta show you this because people were suspecting that Meghan Markle was there in disguise I am not kidding like people wanted to talk about her so badly they couldn't let it go so they thought that she was in disguise here and then they also thought she was this grim reaper looking person that was passing here Sad yeah oh my god <laughs> and I don't that? I don't know <laughs> What? Oh my god! What is that? That's so crazy. But yes, they were like, Megan has to be here somewhere. And the sugars were so coping with her not being there that they decided to put out these pictures all over the internet. Oh, well, at least we have our memories of her once being on the balcony. Sorry about that. I just had to take off those earrings because they were too clankety clanking. Anyways, let's get back to the outfits. Well, first, one little meme. Katy Perry wore the wrong outfit. Uh, she came dressed as Meghan Markle and she was walking around or running around like a chicken with her head cut off looking for her seat. And people were thinking that it might be because she was wearing that peach outfit that is now infamous with the South Park episode. Why? How could you get that so wrong? Like, why would you wear such a similar outfit? And then you wonder why nobody would like scooch over and give you a seat, right? Because who are you? 
<laughs> anyway, on a more serious note, the Princess Royal Princess Anne was declared the best dress there. By all accounts, that emerald green cloak cape that she was wearing, she just looked beaming. She looked beautiful. She looked so happy for her brother. And lest we forget the crowning glory, her fabulous plume, which did double duty, also serving to block Harry's face completely from the cameras. Love it. Another honorable mention goes to Edward and Sophie's daughter, Lady Louise. She's such a beautiful girl, such delicate features, and that dress just went perfectly with it. And she looks like she's quite tall as well. People were in love with her. I have some other things I want to talk about. They're more serious issues, and I want to talk about that. Uh, sorry, I mean, Leilani Barbados wants to talk about that, so I will leave that to her. If you want to hear what she's going to talk about, please give a thumbs up, press the bell notifications, and please subscribe. And I am going to check and see if I have got a text message from King Charles, you know, um, regarding my dancing and stuff, you know, like, you know, you know how I do. Prince Charles, he is not new to this, he is true to this. I will leave you with this vintage video of him in the 80s breaking it down in what looks like Brazil. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and you know that. Bye! Mwah, 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 mwah. See you on the throne next! <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. It makes no sense. Anyway, bye! <laughs>